If I could pick my favorite aircraft, I'd pick the helicopter. Why? It can go anywhere, move in almost any direction, and take off and land in the most difficult situations. Man has always wanted to fly, and the versatility of the helicopter has allowed him to reach unexpected heights. Plans for a helicopter were created with CATCHA 3D, design assisting computer software. It takes 700 hours of work between the drawing stage and assembly of the pattern. The helicopter is made of carbon fiber, a composite material lighter and stronger than steel, protected by two layers of green plastic. The fiber is cut with a blade controlled by ultrasound. They lay on several thicknesses of fiber to make the rear fuselage. The green light of a laser helps position the parts. Then with the heat gun, they apply a beehive web, which increases the solidity of the structure. But the carbon fiber is still soft. To harden, it must be washed under pressure for 10 hours in this autoclave oven at 177 degrees centigrade. The pieces exit the oven and head for machining. The door of the motor housing is kept in a cutting jig and is shaped with a manual shaper. Before installing the parts in place, they strike it with a resonance hammer to detect any faults. Next, the electrical harness is mounted on a pattern before being installed in the aircraft. This particular helicopter has 2,351 meters of wiring, but others can have almost 9 kilometers. The wiring will be connected to the flight instruments panel, the brain of the helicopter. This aircraft has 9,964 rivets, fastened with a gun and a ram. They also apply a sealant to prevent the infiltration of corrosion creating humidity. They now assemble the helicopter's rear fuselage. Piece by piece, the aircraft takes shape. They will install mechanical components later. The motor arrives. This one weighs 120 kilos and has to be carefully handled. Among the other parts to be installed is the circular plate on which the blades will be attached. Safety is primary. The screw nut holes are perforated allowing the insertion of the brake cable. This tightly braided metal wire prevents the nut from loosening due to strong vibrations. Now they bolt on the four blades which make the helicopter fly. Weighing 41 kilos each, they're made of composite materials and an aluminum alloy. They're attached to the main rotor. The dashboard is installed in the cockpit and all the wires are hooked up. Contact is established and all is functioning properly. Nothing remains but finishing the interior of the craft. They install seats, safety belts, the consoles, bulkheads, windows and doors, as well as the trimmings. The helicopter is almost completed, but it still has to be painted. When done, the helicopter is towed outside the assembly hangar. Flight tests are performed to make sure that mechanical and electrical components are functioning properly. It requires an average of 110 days to assemble the 3,419 parts of a helicopter like this one and they turn out almost 185 units each year. These 2.8-ton aircraft are capable of reaching speeds of 140 knots and flying at a maximum altitude of 6,096 meters.